Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. And today, I have the great displeasure of breaking this news. Where are we? Boom. Ah, what can I say? Pictures speak louder than words. This is Box Rick, and this is a pending bout for the 28th of September 2019. Los Angeles approval pending. Heavyweight boxer Deontay Wilder. Opponent, Luis Ortiz. The World Boxing Council heavyweight title, WBC, to you and me. Los Angeles, California, USA. Saturday, the 28th of September, 2019. It looks official, ladies and gentlemen. It looks official. Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz. Saturday the 28th of September. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, Saturday the 28th of September 2019. More of this. Pending approval, but it's effectively official. The rematch, part two. Ah, what can I do? We were hoping... (laughs) Look at the mug. We were hoping this wouldn't happen. Again, we've already seen it. But for whatever reason, well, we know the reason. We'll get into the reasons in a second. They're going to run it back. They're going to run something back that doesn't need running back. They're going to run something back that we don't want to see run back. Part two. Part two. Utterly ridiculous. What would we rather see? You want to see this again? You want to see this again? Or do you want to see... Dillian White... I know which one I'd rather see. See the winner of the Dillian White versus Rivas. I don't know if it's a one-sided mandate thing or a two-sided thing, but certainly we know that if Dillian White beats Rivas on Saturday, July the 20th, that's Rivas. If Dillian White beats this guy, Rivas, we know that he becomes mandatory, interim mandatory belt, title holder, to fight this guy, the guy standing up, Deontay Wilder, and that's the fight we were hoping to see, but instead, We see this again. We have to sit through this again. (sighs) Why? So the answer is, the question is why? Why do we have to sit through that again? When we have a fresh challenger. Waiting in the wings. The mandatory. If he beats... Rivas, he's mandatory. He's already number one contender. He's already been number one ranked for something like 600 days. We could get to see Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder, but clearly they don't want it. Deontay Wilder could just say, yeah, could have a voluntary with Dillian White. They could make that fight tomorrow. 
He could fight Dillian White tomorrow as a, as a sorry, as a voluntary. He could fight him tomorrow. But instead, we're going through the rigmarole. We're having to see this again. He's fighting Ortiz as a voluntary. And let's be clear, he fought him as a voluntary the first time around also. So he's fought Luis Ortiz. He's going to fight him for the second time as a voluntary. But this guy has to be mandatory. Won't fight him under any other circumstances. He has to be a mandatory to get in the ring. For Deontay Wilder to accept him in the ring. It's got to be a mandatory. Will not accept him as a voluntary. Utter, utter nonsense. Not good for the boxing world. It's not good for the boxing world when the so-called champ doesn't want to face his number one contender. Number one opponent. Number one ranked. Dillian White. It's just not good. Just ain't good. You're going to fight... And I respectfully say, old man Ortiz. That's what we call him over here in the UK. Old man Ortiz again. Rather than face a young, hungry lion with KO capabilities. Instead of that, you're going for old man Ortiz. That's why we call him over here. Old man Ortiz. Look at that picture. It's criminal. Criminal. You're beating up on an old man. This is ridiculous. This is absurd. It's It, it, it kind of looks obscene, if I'm quite frank with you. It looks obscene. It is obscene. To keep this man waiting. Sorry, this man waiting. 600 days. But yet, you're more than happy to fight this guy again as a voluntary. As a voluntary. It's tragic. Absolutely tragic. Where's the article? Here's the article. What, what, what was the line that what was the line that had me think he shaking my head? Where is it? Where is that line? Where is that line? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Asked when fans can expect an update on the Ortiz fight. These replied, Once we get the fight date, we will begin official camp two months before. Deontay is always active, so he can't forget about that Gabagio. Deontay wants the biggest. <laughs> Deontay wants the biggest fights, so we are thrilled with what's happening. He's clearly fighting the best opponents of any uh, of any heavyweight. Oh my, 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 my! You should, you should, you should, you should, you should, you should keep your tongue still, my friend. You shouldn't talk that utter Gabagio in front of intelligent people. Once these two fights are done, he's fought Ortiz, then Fury, then Breezel. Ortiz again, then Fury again. No one else can compare. Ah. Ah. Please, knock it on the head. You don't want to face a young, hungry lion. You'd rather face two guys you've already fought. No to the young, hungry lion. But yes to old man Ortiz. Look at that. Tell me, where, where's that picture? Tell me that's not criminal. Tell me that is not criminal. That's that you could get done. You could get done for that. Beating up on an old man rather than facing a young, hungry lion. And let me just show for anybody you missed the beginning of the video. Where is that? Where is that thing? Where is that caption? 
where is that caption there it is saturday the 28th of september 2019 pending approval heavyweight deontay wilder versus luis ortiz ah words fail me what can i say it's Raphael Dawkins, it's Combat Radio, it's the likes, it's the subscribes, it's the comment, it's the shares, it's the hitting that bell icon. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And I'm out.